Hello everyone, I have a great DIY piece for you guys today, so stick around. Welcome to Gazelle Creative Studio, my name is Uriel. Are you looking for a creative and inspiring way to give your home a fresh and unique style? Or do you want to give a special handcrafted gift to someone? Then you have come to the right place. Join me as we explore the wonderful world of art, craft and design. This month, I am part of the uh, What Will You Make collaboration. As hosts, we have Zena from OK at Home DIY and Connie from Connie's Woodshop and DIYs. As guest hosts, we have Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. The links to their channels and the playlist will be in the description below. For this project, we're going to use one of those wooden canvas from Dollar Tree. Wooden beads with a large hole, some rope, wallpaper like this, wooden rings, and other optional materials. Let's get started with this project, so I'm going to open these materials. I have made some markings around the wooden canvas to make sure I work evenly. What we want to do first is attach this rope. Because I don't want my work to get undone, I want to secure it with glue and staples. I forgot to add some glue to the first marking, but that is not a problem. I will add some right now. Basically what I'm going to do is insert three wooden rings and get the rope in and out of each stack of rings as you can see here. Also, I am using a spray bottle to help me measure the rope from one stack of rings to another. I will go around the tray following this process, except for the handles. Now, for the handle, I will be adding a wooden beads and make sure it is large enough.
We're almost done attaching the rope, rings and beads. For the handle, I will make sure it matches the length from the other side. I will move the beads to the back slightly, add some glue, then cut the rope. Now I move the front bead forward and the rope will remain halfway inside, making the bead a little hollow so I can attach the other end. It is time to place the wallpaper to the tray. Because the rings were in the way and it was hard to work, I decided to peel off the entire sheet and apply it to the surface. Next, we're going to apply the resin. Before we do that, we need to clean the surface really well and keep it free from dust. This resin is from Dollar Tree, and there are two important rules we need to follow. One, mix equal parts. In this case, I am going to pour the entire bottles because it is just enough for the entire surface of the tray. Two, we need to mix it very well so we get a solid and shiny surface. Please wear gloves, I forgot to use mine. This can get a little messy, so I recommend using disposable items. Also, I am using a hotel key card to push the resin to the edges, and a heat gun to remove any bubbles. After this, I will let it dry for 24 hours. Do not forget to cover the tray, as you don't want dust to land on the resin. Are you ready for the final reveal? What do you think of this wooden tray? Let me know in the comments below.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.